Hey guys, it's Supply Natural here and I am back with another video. So welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the family because you'll love it here. Today guys is a video that started from a trend that I've seen going around on TikTok. Now on TikTok, it was a video about people basically just expressing their ics about different topics. And me as a business creator, I started to think of some of my ics as a business creator and I listed them out. But this video isn't all of my ics. It's just this one ick in particular and I kind of want to break down why this is an ick and maybe new business owners or you know people that are thinking about starting a business maybe they'll understand it a little bit better okay so my main ick is when people get upset when they ask a small business owner for their vendors and that small business owner either goes i don't give out my vendors or you can purchase my vendors list a lot of new people a lot of new business owners to the game or even just people in general that want to know get highly upset when a um, when a person says this because they say it's it's gatekeeping and you know why don't you just tell us and da 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 honestly i want to break it down i'm, I'm gonna just say it to you like this if finding a vendor was that easy you would not be so pressed to ask me for one the truth of the matter is finding a vendor and finding good quality vendors is not an easy thing to do because when you go out and you search for vendors you have to do a lot of trial and error and a lot of testing out to see if this vendor is a good fit for your business. And it's not easy. It's not easy because when you go through the process of doing it, you find a vendor that you may like through whatever avenue that you find them, whether it's Amazon, Instagram, Alibaba, wherever. You find these vendors, you like what they, they have on their website, you order from them. So then you have to wait get your inventory or what have you get that from them and then you have to test out the quality of the product that they gave you it's not just hey i ordered it i got it i liked it i'ma sell it boom it don't work out like that because believe me if it worked out like that it'll be a lot easier for people to start their businesses but in reality some of these vendors that you come across aren't a good fit for you the quality of the products might not be the best or turnaround time may not be the best whatever what have you so it's a lot that goes into finding a vendor worthy of you purchasing from them and having that vendor represent your entire company it's a lot of you know a lot of pressure trial and error a lot that goes into it and when people are just saying hey just give me your vendor and where do you get your charms from or where do you get this from or where do you get that from you don't understand that that's work that I have to do in order to find these people. So yes, I'm gonna ask you to, hey, if you wanna, if you want this information, you can go ahead and pay me X amount of money for my vendors list. Not that I have one, I don't have a vendors list yet. I haven't came up with one yet. But yeah, you have to pay me for these vendors. I'm not gonna give you the game because everybody wants to come into the, the small biz world and they don't wanna do the work. They just want you to do the work and then give them the game. I'm telling you, baby, game is sold separately. You know what I'm saying? This is a huge part of your business. Your vendor is probably the most important part of your business. Especially, I mean, if you're selling a physical product, your vendor is the most important part of your business. And for you to give up the information for the most important part of your business to somebody and they expect you to do it for free, that's insulting, none the least. That's, 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 really, that's really insulting. Now, there are people that will give you certain vendors and especially if they get paid partnerships with these um with some of these companies in order for them to promote your business, yeah, they'll give you those vendors. But for you to think that you're going to get every single vendor every single time and all you have to do is just ask for it and that's just nice because it wouldn't be, you know, you don't want to gatekeep. I'm sorry. It's some things that you have to do on your own. If you don't want to put the work in to look for your vendors yourself, you're going to have to pay me to get the vendors or pay that person to get the vendors. Google is free. You know what I'm saying? Google is free. But you don't want to look. You want to get it 
from a small business owner. So you have to respect the fact that this person did all the hard work for you. They searched these vendors, they verified these vendors, they're vouching for these particular vendors and they're giving it to you. You don't have to put the work in. So of course you're gonna have to pay some type of finder's fee. And I understand there's a lot of people who feel differently about that or who don't wanna do that because they feel like, hey, I could just look on my own. You are more than welcome to do that. You are more than welcome to do that. That's why I do it because I refuse to buy a vendor's list from somebody, especially when I can just look on my own. Some of these vendor's list prices are ridiculous, but at the same time, I understand and I respect the fact that that's what you wanna do. But me personally, I'm not paying anybody for a vendor's list because I'm going to sit here on my little laptop and I'm going to search it and do it myself. But at the same time, I understand and I respect the other creators that do. And that was just kind of me just going on a little ramble because that was a huge debate on like TikTok and I'm not sure why. But, but you guys, that's all I have for today's video. It's just a little random rant. I haven't personally had too many people with the whole vendors listing, but I definitely understand it. So if you guys just be nicer to the small business owner, don't either you pay what they're asking or you do the research yourself because <laughs> I'm right here doing the research and it's not easy. It is a lot of hard work. So you got to respect the hustle on it. So that's all I have for today's video, guys. Let me know what your take is on this particular issue down below. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos from me regarding little icks and things like that, when it comes to business, when it comes to my locks, when it comes to anything really, just let me know down below and I could probably start up a series for you guys. Um, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and I'll catch you guys on the next video.